we in any such endeavor you need to obviously detect the elephant you need to detect it certainly surely with some degree of surety about it so if you put one sensor you are never very sure so you need to put alternative levels of sensors so that one sensor corroborates the other sensor and says the acoustic sensor says there is an elephant does the camera say there is an elephant does the infrared sensors also say there is an elephant and does the reflectometer also say there is an elephant so if you have four sensors saying we corroborate each other you are relatively more sure that there is an elephant so that's the principle of many sensors you can go on adding sensors but beyond a certain point you are never more sure than you were so the return on investment is low so we have chosen four sensors which are relatively uh, okay in the sense they give us a uh, elephant detected signal with a good amount of certainty about it these are four sensors acoustic sensors which requires to be buried in the ground and detects footfall of elephants cameras to capture the presence of the elephants in darkness and light reflectometer to reflect light from the camera and lastly the passive infrared sensors to detect infrared from a living animal after identifying the elephant or the herd the information is relayed back to the previous station nearest to the segment the information is then sent to the locomotive driver to apply brakes and halt the train However all this needs to be done within a particular time limit as trains on average run at 60 km per hour. Well, the sensor is the most basic part of it it just detects the presence. Mm -hmm. We relay the sensor data back to our cloud computers back in IIT Delhi or finally in the railways if there'll be a computer installed where we run these machine learning algorithms and do signal processing to sense which elephant where how many after we do that we take a decision the decision is a mechanism to say stop the train don't stop the train that's a vital economic decision so there's a lot of signal processing and a lot of machine learning and artificial intelligence which goes into taking that decision but we are proud of our algorithms to detect individual elephants size of herds unlike the other alternatives to deter the elephant herd from coming on the railway tracks like lining the sides with ropes of soaked chili powder or playing sounds of honey bees this design aims not to interfere with the natural movement of elephants or herd by scaring away through noise fire or hostile sounds developed by iit delhi in collaboration with the wildlife institute of india dehradun and funded by the ministry of railways and the department of science and technology these sensors have so far given successful results They are designed to be installed at the most vulnerable areas and are considered to be cost effective. Nothing in it is more than 50000 rupees. Most most of the the most populous densest sensors we have are roughly 3000 rupees to 4000 rupees each. Uh I would say this is a very cost effective solution because usually solutions of this nature which are available from commercial entities go into hundreds of crores uh we are not a commercial entity so we develop at cost really speaking plus we don't import anything we build everything in this lab in which we are sitting so everything you see in the lab which is working is built here it is soldered and made and produced in this lab so we fix it we design it that gives us certain advantages we know exactly what is wrong we know how to fix it According to the experts, woodlands would gradually cease to exist without elephants. If the project is implemented, the sensors will not just help reduce the mortality rate of the elephants, but also protect these architects of woodlands ecosystem.